Hello, everybody. Um, so today I'm doing a little let's draw of a uh, character from a game that I've been playing a lot lately, Darkest Dungeon. And this is the, uh, the Grave Robber. I thought this would be something kind of fun to do and, you know, keeps me drawing, a, you know, a quick sketch in a, in a short amount of time. And, you know, it's fun. It's a fun character to draw. And I really like, uh, I like her a lot. And I like, uh, I pretty much always have this character in my party when I can. So, um, yeah, what I basically start doing is, is just putting down basic shapes and positioning uh, for where I want the character and different perspectives on, on how I want it to look in the scene. Um, I like that pickaxe. I think that was pretty good pretty good pickaxe on the first go. Um, I'm kind of going in and adding a little bit more detail now and shading a little bit more. Um, so when I draw with ink, which is basically what I'm trying to do here with uh, digital media, is um, I like to kind of layer in a lot of texture and lines and shapes and get a lot of motion. So it, um, I, I kind of dig the uh, sketchy look and I feel like that translates pretty well to the style of, uh, of game. Like, darkest dungeon and it's kind of you know grimy and, and dark and foreboding as it were so um so yeah again just going in and you know going in and adding things like the hair adjusting things like her hat and her little shovel on her back there um i wasn't sure if i was gonna give her legs but i decided you know what let's let's give her legs um fixing the pickaxe a little bit adding some shading on that guy going in for a nice little pick to the face um, she has the coolest outfit. I, th <laughs> I think that's probably why I like this character so much. She's just a, a neat looking character. Um, super versatile, just super cool looking. All the, all the characters in the Darkest Dungeon are, are super cool looking. Um, going in with the mouth in here a little bit and the nose. I never try and add a lot of shading into the nose because I'm always worried that I'm gonna mess it up and add too much and it's gonna look really terrible. But, um, I kind of go back a little bit later and uh and add that um yeah try to add a little bit more wear to her jacket there before uh because it looks pretty pretty worn in and, and grimy in the actual game uh adding uh, her little accessories like her little boots and her belt there her little pouches and things she's got her little uh vial of of toxin trickery is, is the, uh, I think is the, uh, name of the, uh, ability, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so again, going in and adding even darker lines, especially, uh, especially up front, make it really pop out a little bit more, uh, because that's what you do. You add a little, you add a little dark in the front, makes it a little bit more prominent. It's, uh, it's art, little, little art 101 there for you. Um, so... Yeah, again, going back in and adjusting her, her jacket a little bit more. I believe I do that a bit later. And uh, really getting into the shading around the face and around her her jacket. Um, that took me a little while to actually get to a point where I liked it. Because um, she's got a little collar that pops out. And a shirt underneath the collar that's not super defined. And I didn't want to go into too much detail with it and take away from the face. But um, yeah, you kind of... I basically again kind of gradually layer in and layer up this is me doing some more fine detail um going in and adding things like you know making the daggers look super cool they have that little pin on them uh i believe i add a couple fingers on the side there in a second i used to hate doing hands but uh i really like doing hands now it's uh they're fun they're fun to draw the more you take anatomy classes, if I can give advice to anyone about anything with art, it's take all the figure drawing and anatomy classes that you can because it's going to help you so much. Um, yeah, so here's where I really start to get into a lot of shading and, and detail work again. I like a lot of shading. It's another thing that I was really always very, uh, very nervous to put down when I was uh, in school was, you know, doing a lot of dark lines and a lot of shading. A little bit of blood coming out the pickaxe there, maybe? thought it was cool. Um, is, uh, yeah, you, you know, it, putting down really dark lines like that is very intimidating and you're worried you're gonna ruin it. And that's the nice thing about working on a, on a digital medium is it's like, hey, you don't, don't have to worry too much. If you can, you know, you can just change it super easy. If you don't like it, you can always go back and fix it. But um, in this case, I'm trying not to go back and fix 
too much here as I like I said I really like the feel and the motion of just keeping all your line work in and you know just adding on top of it and here's the fingers that I said I was gonna add <laughs> and um you know just making things making it layered and making it feel alive and active and that's uh that's another thing that people tend to do in their early on is not you know do very face on pose or do very like uninteresting and simple poses and you're just beating yourself up you really need to uh the more interesting and intricate and, and action oriented the pose of your character is the uh the better it's gonna look in the uh in the end there and um yeah i i think i i erase a little bit of the uh of like where her other her left eye is there right now but um i keep most of the other most of the other shapes in other than that um adding a little bit of detail around the boots that we're not really gonna see too much of but you know which kind of bumps me out i really like her boots they're super cool and uh yeah finishing touches on the uh on the raggedy bit on the jacket and um and that's it so um my name is amy and that is the grave robber thanks for watching